Um, you know, since we're kind of talking a little bit about symptoms, let's kind of circle back to talking about like what are the symptoms of low testosterone? You know, we're talking about men here, but like we talked about libido, muscle mass. Like what are what are like the classic symptoms that men should be looking out for? It does get tough because as you would imagine, a lot of the lifestyle related things that lead to low testosterone will come with the decrement to quality of life just via, you know, if you have poor sleep, like you're not going to feel great because you didn't rest enough. So in general, I would look to things like libido, uh, erection quality, if you suddenly, you know, if you don't have morning wood anymore, like you got to look into it regardless if it's circulatory or hormone mediated. Um, you no longer are able to hold muscle as easily or build muscle as easily. You're, you know, losing strength in the gym. Your recovery capacity is inhibited relative to what it was when you were younger. Um, mood dysregulation, um, irritability. And these are all like really general vague symptoms. And I would love to just say, oh, look at, you know, the, this exact thing will happen. But in reality, it's often a constellation of things that comes as a vicious circle effect of the, you know, factors that led to that deterioration of testosterone to begin with. For the average person, it's going to be more of these general symptoms. And it's warranted to get a test at that point and just see what's up. A lot of this stuff is going to be ultimately determined by blood work, though, because a lot of people aren't going to be able to identify this autonomously reliably. So, like, do you notice a blatant deterioration with no other factors changed? Erection quality, you know, libido, uh, vigor, muscle mass, strength, fat, body composition, stuff like that.